So uh, I will mainly speak about uh, the need for regions to invest more in innovation than they did in the past. And this is due to uh, the impact, long-term impact of the financial crisis. Uh, if you think about it, uh, there will be a more dual economy at regional level, once uh, for looking for global innovation, because the world uh, will continue to be very competitive. And the second is more at uh, social innovation for uh, the challenge that the people at local level will meet. And among the, those challenges I will mention, aging population, inclusion, uh, new alternative energy sources, and of course the protection of the environment. So you see this is really local. When you say innovation, you need educated people, talented people, and this is why the role of higher education or even the education systems will become more important than it was in the past. When you look to uh, Europe, you have mainly two types of regions. Some regions have a good potential for creating new knowledge, putting this knowledge into the market, but most of the region have to absorb that knowledge and to translate it, it into the benefit of the local stakeholders. And by lo local stakeholders, of course, you have the enterprise, but also the students there, so that you improve their creativity or the way they use knowledge and bring knowledge together in order to solve local problems. So that's why I think this conference is very important to see what are the different routes that uh, the people have to uh, find out to make sure it will work at a uh, regional level. So the question we have to raise is how the knowledge flow from one region to another on one hand and how the knowledge flow inside the region. The other issue that the people have to look at is really the cycle of knowledge in a region. I, I believe any region has a stock of knowledge. It could be in some uh, remote uh, area, a tradition or tourism or whatever. And normally uh, we inject money to create new knowledge and we need to make sure that that knowledge is used by the people. So it has, it has to be tailor-made, it has to be anchored, it has to be used in a way of commercialization. But very seldom people ask the question about the actual quality of the knowledge. So nobody is looking whether the stock of knowledge is still valid in the new concept. I, uh, when people say, well, innovation is not really for my region because we are poor or we are remote, this is not true. You have to find out where you specialized, where you are good at, and to inject new money, new ideas, in order to uh, continue to create competitive advantage on it. And this is a big challenge uh, for the universities and the education uh, organization because they are training people, some are doing vocation training, but that's it. And how can you uh, steer and s enhance the relationship that there is a part of the lectures or the work done at university level who has direct contact with the local economy in order to make it strong?